we're good. I was looking at something very important on my phone. Jen was looking like. Yeah, I should have been paying more attention. Yeah. We've done a few of these. Probably. Hey, everybody. A bit of a different lineup right here. We're doing some different stuff today. So Derek is sick today. So we have in his stead... Steve Brownback. You've probably seen him before. We also have, as a very special guest for the first part of our stream, we're going to have two guests today. Mm -hmm. Studio head, Sean Hemmerich. That is me. That is correct. So this is Sean. Uh, so Sean's going to be here to kind of go through some of the questions we've gotten from Twitter. Right. Tyler never answers as many as I want to, so uh, I'm just going to answer a bunch. I'm going to make myself look bad and say that is true. Uh, <laughs> Tyler, I have a question. I'm not going to answer it. Go ahead. Since Derek can't be in, should I go to 11? Should I go over the top to match the spirit of Derek? I uh, stick at seven. Oh, man. Okay. Stick at seven, I would yeah. say. Okay. Uh, like seven on a Derek scale or seven on a Steve yeah, yeah. scale? Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, okay, so let's go to some questions straight away. From Twitter, Need Injustice 2 Answers is the Twitter wow. name. Wow. Uh, will gear be earned through local matches? So sitting down with your friend playing matches. No. Uh, you get that thing where people sit down with two controllers and sit and just grind it and stuff. So no, you don't. You, you, we, because of that, we don't let you do it. Just have fun with your friends, play on the couch, but we won't be getting gear there so you can't you know, get all the gear in. Yeah, people do that. They sit with two controllers. I've never done anything like that before. Right, right. Did you, uh, did you rubber band the controller? Like, oh, I've done that many yeah. times, many times. I beat Shaolin Monks where I use my hands and then I use my feet as the second character to, to beat co-op by myself. I've done, it with, I've done Monk with two controllers and two hands and with each mm. one. This is a fun fact. Sean, you are a master of Shaolin Monks. Yes. I am the third best player of that game. Uh, so there, we, we've been in talks. Don't know what will ever happen. I hope it does. Maybe we'll see you play it sometime. Maybe. Yeah, I really want Edwards and I to play that co-op all the way through. And maybe do a director's cut as you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. There's so many goofy things in that. We don't know. It's, it's up in the air. It's just an idea. Uh, from at Jameer Fox. Mobile game. We talked about it at GDC. There is an Injustice 2 mobile game. Yes. When, will it be, when, when are we going to see it? It will come out before the console game, assuming all goes to plan, and that is the closest to a date I will give. Great. And as we say every time on the stream, these are all games in progress. They're be games that are being made. Things can happen that may change things. So these are just, we're giving you what we can right now. Again, the build you see, not the finished version of Injustice 2. There may be some stuff that changes. So if you're looking at crazy frame data, stop doing that. Uh, they're going to do it anyway. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Uh, I will say this. We will have a, mo a stream based on the mobile game to talk about the mobile game when, it, when we get it out there. And we're also looking to have a stream that will be just talking about the mobile game uh, every once in a while. So we can show all the new stuff that's happening with, a, with me and another host. So we'll have more information of that to come. Ooh, teasing another host. Be, yeah. We're going we're gonna to meet different hosts for different shows. Is he, is he bearded? He is, he is bearded. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that's kind of the rule. So, <laughs> so I figured. Whoa. I know. I know because I'm filling. Fine. Fine. I should have told you. Um, this is a good one. Uh, is there going to be gear that plays off other gear? Like, let's say Batman has a kryptonite head chest set. Well, that's an excellent example from the question, because that is exactly one that is completely true. Right. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get the terminology of this wrong, but the design, and Bellapani can fix it for you, but yeah, like, Batman has a kryptonite set of gear, so if you collect all five pieces of Batman's kryptonite set, you get set bonuses, and I believe it works with, if you have three, four, and five, like, they, they grow as the set bonuses right. go. And they'll give you certain things that we'll talk about later, and I've mentioned this many times, and I'm sorry we haven't done it yet. We will have a gear stream with Mr. John Edwards to discuss all things gear. A lot of stuff we haven't talked about. Maybe show off some of these sets, mm -hmm. things like that. There's a lot of really awesome stuff about gear that we haven't even talked about yet. Um, next question. That was from Bladed LA, by the way. Uh, from Twitter again. Uh, e. Newton. Can I get a birthday shout-out? No, no, Derek's not here. Derek is not here, so there are no birthday shout-outs? Yeah, no. E. Newton will not be shouted out to. Not, we are not shouting you out for it being your birthday. No. That is not happening right now. No. Nope. You have to wait another year. Yep. See you next year if, Derek, if Derek's here. If, yeah. So, uh, Vin, uh, Vino Meidel, will gear have durability and can it break? Uh, I'm hesitating because, of course, it will not break. Uh, I understand that some games things yep. wear out and break. No, ours is durable. Mm -hmm. Once you have that piece of gear, it's that gear with those stats forever. Yeah. yeah. They never, gear can't break. You yeah. don't need to repair it. You don't need to repair it. No. Correct. Uh, where are we at here? We got, doesn't have energy or something nope. like that? Just your gear. You it's got gear. It. Uh, at Injustice fan page, um, will there be a tower mode of some sort? I'll use your answer. Yeah, there's going to be cool stuff. 
And we'll probably talk about that in a later stream, right? That's the right answer? Yes, it is. Yeah. And okay. I want to touch on that for a moment. It is very difficult for me, and probably for you guys too. We've seen everything in the game, and all of the really cool stuff that we can't show you yet. So there's a lot of questions you're going to give us that I can't answer. But I will say, what we just talked about, there's some really neat stuff coming. We'll have a stream probably dedicated to that as well. Yeah, it, it yeah. needs its own stream because yep. it's because it's a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, there, some of the tower stuff is the, some of the coolest single-player stuff we've ever done. Very exciting. Um, so the single-player mode for this game is very robust. I'll say that. Um, this is a good one for you, Sean. Mm. Recently on our forums, we announced a new type of in-game currency, which you can go to our forums to take a look at the, uh, the, the frequently asked questions and whatnot. Uh, they're called source crystals. Can you kind of tell people what source crystals are? Yeah, so I, I saw a bunch of the questions, so I can kind of cover the whole thing in one answer of source crystals are used for visuals and visuals only. So uh, I, I'll probably say this seven times, but it does not have gameplay impact. It is, you can, no way can you pay to win. Uh, source crystals are, are a currency you pay for with dollars, but it does visuals only. Right. So, for example, shaders. And I'm going to ask Jen, can Jen put that image up of the shaders of Harley? Um, shaders do a color change. So once Jen's got it up, uh, you'll see like, hey, I'm a guy who likes hot pink. I, I'm a hot pink guy over a, a blood red. Well, then you can get that shader to do that. Now, a lot of these are going to drop in game as right. well. But if you want to shortcut your way to some of these, great, go ahead. Or I love teal. I think that's the third one in that image. Hey, go get teal or wait for it to drop in game. Whatever. You know our audience. You're talking to the teal fans. Right. Teal and hot pink. I right. get it. Right. Um, and blood red uh, for the MK fans, right? Sure. Uh, so, shaders, one thing, like, if you want a shortcut to those visuals, it doesn't affect gameplay, it doesn't change the stats, it's just a visual thing. And they'll drop, too. And they'll drop, too, exactly. And then you get into premieres. So, like, uh, we have not announced any of the premieres beyond the three that are part of the Ultimate, but I'll just say, one of my favorite premieres, for it's a, example. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, that one, if I want a shortcut and buy it, I can't. If I don't want to wait for it to be a reward from the thing we're not, the mode we're not talking about, or something else right, dropping it in the right. game, if I want to save my time and just get it, I can. I can buy that with these source crystals. But a premiere skin just puts the premiere skin over the top. The gear you have underneath is the stats. Right. You can think of a premiere skin as a really fancy shader for all intents and purposes. Yeah. So, like when Power Girl takes over Supergirl, the visuals change, the intros change, and she says things that are Power Girl. Right. But you don't change the stats. That's the gear that you've earned in game through playing and only through playing. So kind of like we, you know, we've done a lot, shortcuts. Yep. For those of you who don't have the kind of time others do, there's a way that you can get that stuff. Yep. And again, uh, for transform gear is something else you can use for source crystals. Now, for those of you who know what transmogrify is, that's transmogrify. I didn't know what that was until someone explained it to me. But transform gears, I have a gear, and man, these stats are awesome, but I really want these... these uh, rad goggles. Yeah, yeah, the rad goggles for... Harley. Terrific, for Harley. I was I, the character came in my head is not announced yet. So, Fair. Um, so I really want to apply that stat to this item. So, boom, done, got it. So you can put the stats you want instead of having to wait for that gear and redrop it, necessarily re-roll it, wait till I'm a higher level and then re-get it. Sure. If you want to just combine them together, you can do that through transform gear, and that is again visual only. So that's something we let you do with source crystals. And we'll talk. We'll definitely talk a lot more about that later in the. Gear stream, which will happen at some point later date. Yes, yes. Uh, and the last thing you can do, uh, Apollo Garcia special, is level uh, level up a character. So it's time saving. Once you've leveled the character to twenty, um, we're going to let you jump any other character you want to twenty as well with source crystals. Um, it doesn't give you any gear or anything. It just changes that when you, where the gear drops. So you can level immediately to twenty to help your dropping. But it's just a time saver in that aspect. Sure. So those are the things you can do with source crystals. Awesome. It's all. Uh, Cosmetic, not gameplay impacting, so it was very important to us that you cannot pay to win in this game in any way. Yeah, that would, that would wreck what we're trying to do. Yes, correct. It's the exact so, opposite of what we want to do. Awesome. So if you have any more questions about uh, Source Crystals, you can go to our uh, forums, um, and I will try to try to tweet the, the link out to where the forums are today at some point as well, if you haven't found our forums. So please, go to our forums, sign up for our forums. Besides Source Crystals, you can just talk to other fans about the game, which is yeah, what we the game, like. the game does exist there. It does exist there. Uh, let's move on. Another question. This is good for you as well. Um, the Ultimate Edition DLC characters, will they all, there's nine of them. Correct, there are nine. Will they come at release? 
Uh, the nine characters will not come at release. We're actually we're still making them. They don't yeah. exist at this point. Uh, so as we finish them, then they'll get them. And I'm going to answer the dark side part of that. Is that another, we can do that question? right now. So okay. there's a big question. Is dark side one of the nine? Dark side is not part of the nine. He is a pre-order bonus. If you pre-order the game, you get dark side for free. Right. That is completely separate from the nine DLC characters. So if you pre-order the ultimate edition, you get dark side and nine characters and all the shaders, shaders. and the yeah. three premier skins, um, all that. And then as we finish those characters, uh, you will get those. Yeah, just not yeah we, we, we don't have a, a schedule set. Obviously, we're going to get the game out first. Yes, that's Those the will first. all be explained later. Yes. In another stream. Oh, yeah, in the DLC stream. Right. There'll be nine of them. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, w people have been asking. There's two characters have been asked a lot about to see. Who are the two? Robin. Okay. Poison Ivy. Yes. I can tell you this. A lot of people ask for Poison Ivy. She is on the schedule. I'm not going to say when. It's coming. As for Robin, though. I not on the schedule at all. Not, no. I feel like it's important that we get Robin out there. Yeah. So next Wednesday, same time, same place, Robin. I'm Sound excited. good? Yeah. And another character that we have announced, we have announced that haven't shown very much of it all, will also have a breakdown next week. Follow our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram to see who that character is going to be. That's it's fun. I'm learning stuff here. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought cool. it was next week. Yeah. Um, I'm flipping the page. There's two pages now. That's because, how many questions. Because Sean is here, we have two pages. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's more like a page on a third. Looks like a page, yeah. Here's from Reddit. Now, these are very important questions that people have been asking that I'm excited to talk about. Um, can People have been asking. We have loadouts in the game. And let's say you're playing as Swamp Thing, and you have a version that's that really uses as grabs, or really right. uses, can you rename them to know what you're doing? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, you now can. The, you know, your opponent won't see what they're called, which is very good because you don't want your opponent seeing the kind of gameplay you have in mind. Mm. But you'll be able oh, to read it. Oh, that's why? It I assumed it was because people will put naughty words. That could be it, too. Yeah. My, my reason was, was yeah, yeah. big, big, strategic. Hope, hopeful, strategic, yeah. I think. Um, next, uh, we've been asking for a new indicator. So when you get a new piece of gear from playing, will there be a new indi indicator, Sean? Yes. There will be. I love new indicators. I mean, I love turning them off. I love like going through all of them. To oh get yeah, the OCD indicator. of like, I always I have, have to, to do that. Yeah, yeah, I, have I have to, to do that. So there unless I'm saving it specifically to look at later. Right. I was just playing the other day, and oh, I can say that Aquaman. I had a bunch of new stuff, and I was like, I'm going to leave that there, so I'm going to look at that later. Right. Because sometimes you're in the heat of battle, and you want yeah. to go back later. Absolutely. Uh, and one more base, the kind of UI of the gear, which is very important. When you get a new piece of gear, you can actually hover over that piece of gear. And compare it to your other one. It'll give you the pluses and minuses mm -hmm. of what that gear will do. So you can say, okay, this chess piece is a little better than what I'm using. Or maybe I love this look. I'll transform it later. You can be, you'll be able to tell the differences in stats. Which is, you know, kind of a quality of life thing and pretty helpful. Yeah, plus six defense. Plus four million shield. That's a good piece. Yeah. 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 Four million defense. Never can be killed. Uh, final question, kind of personal question for all of us. We'll start with you, Steve. Of the newcomers that we have announced... Right. Because <laughs> we tried this earlier yeah. in your yeah. office and... Yeah, we, we, he prepped me for this of because my first character is not an uh, announced character. I'm glad, I'm glad I prepped you. Yeah. I'm really glad I prepped you. They're mad I prepped you. Correct. Yeah. So, Correct. Steve, of the newcoming player characters, which one has your favorite play style and why? Cheetah, because well, you're going to see in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Awesome. I will go back to my office and watch. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, the other mine. This is gonna. This just sounds really pandering and chilly because mine right now. <laughs> well, I kind of have two, and it's it's Gorilla Grodd and Swamp Thing, yeah. which I know we're playing them today. I also really dig Robin's fight style. Yes. Just so you know, I'm but very excited. Those are nothing like each other. I know, right? That's cool. But right now, Swamp Thing's my favorite. Maybe because I've been playing him a lot. He's a grappler, but in a different way, which we'll explain. Sean? Yeah, of the announce, uh, and actually my second favorite character is Supergirl. I'm, I like the faster characters, quick, get in there, the speed advantage, and that just eye laser and then the eye laser meter burn. Like I, just, I love that move. That's one of my favorite visuals in the game. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one of her moves she gets from gear, she can do from the air, which is yeah. also really cool. Did you, have we shown the Wonder Woman doing her, her thing coming yes, back? Yes, we, the did. Same, we did. That's my, one of my favorite moves. And there are so many that we haven't shown and probably won't have time to on stream at some point. So when you open the game, you're going to see a lot of crazy new moves. Yeah. Sean, I think right now, that is it for questions. Awesome. I would... We answered all of them? We, not all of them. 
from Twitter. Oh, oh I thought Yeah, that. there's probably about 400 more. Um, but a lot of them are, are this character in the game, is this character in the game. Oh, so yeah. all of those we've already covered. Yeah, ish. Uh, so, Sean, I'd love to have you back sometime to answer some more questions. Okay, well, we can consider sure that. We, we could talk about it. 